The jury will be back tomorrow to decide the fate of Logan Shoemaker. It comes as they watch part of the effort to save Buffalo Police Chief TJ Benning's life in court today. A warning, some of this video might be disturbing. Body camera video shows Benning right after that crash, alert and responsive. Today, Benning walked into a courtroom and told his story to jurors. The 21-year-old defendant also testified. Shoemaker is facing five charges, including attempted murder. That is tonight's top story. Local 4 Sean Logging joins us in our newsroom with what Benning had to say while on the stand. Sean? Tiffany Buffalo Police Chief TJ Benning says after hearing radio traffic about that chase starting in Davenport and learning it was coming to Buffalo, he got set up at an intersection where that stolen garbage truck would be passing. That was the day in September. He, he's still working to recover from, but he points to the quick action of police officers and first responders for saving his life. Those were his legs right there. After the jury heard from others about that crash, now the man recovering from it gets to tell his story. Buffalo Police Chief T.J. Benning says he got set up at an intersection, leaving an open lane for Logan Shoemaker. So I was going to let him go almost to my squad before I threw the stop six out, thinking because I just wanted him to go by. But that's not what happened. My Tahoe just basically exploded. I mean, it just came right at me, and I had not, nowhere to go. After he stopped rolling, Benning says he remembered thinking he needed to get out of the way of pursuing police cars coming by. Made it to my feet. And I tried to get out of the street, but my legs were both broken, so I just kind of fell and rolled into the ditch there. Benning says it was a tourniquet that saved his life. This is body camera video shown to the jury of crews treating Benning, where they can see that he's responsive throughout the recording, and they hear Benning talk about what happened. I got knocked back underneath my car, and my legs got over. Benning listed the multiple life-threatening injuries, recounted about 15 surgeries, and months in bed along with the slow but continuous work toward recovery. Learn to stand for 10 seconds. The next day I would try to get 15, just slowly try to build up. Now, Benning says he can walk with a cane and for the most part is healed, but long term is a question mark because of nerve damage. It's not connected properly, so it just burns constantly. My foot is, right now, it's always numb. It's always burning. It's always in terrible pain. Benning says he's waiting to see if that nerve in his leg will grow back. When Shoemaker was on the stand, he told the jury he was not intentionally trying to hit Benning, but when he was coming to make a turn, he lost control of the garbage truck. Tonight at 6, what else Shoemaker had to say while giving his testimony? In the newsroom, Sean Logging, Local 4 News.